welcome to Kids Academy. Ready, Bolly? Try and guess these shadows. Um, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> Good one. Now how about this one? Roof, 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 roof. It's a dog. Nice. Hey, Andrew, uh, what makes a shadow? That's a good question, Molly. Let's check it out. As we learned in earlier lessons, light comes from a light source, like the sun. If that light gets blocked by another object, like a tree, it creates a shadow. Blocking sources of light can create different types of shadows. Now let's step into the light lab and do some experiments with different objects to see what kind of shadows we can make. The first object we're going to use is a plastic clipboard. You can see, I can see my hand right through the clipboard. Most light is passing through it. If I hold it in front of my light source like this, it doesn't make much of a shadow. Objects like this that let almost all light through are called transparent. Our next object is this plastic lid. Now this plastic lid may look transparent like the clipboard before it, but you'll notice if I put my hand behind it how much more difficult it is for you to see my hand through it. Objects like this are called translucent. Translucent means that some of the light can pass through, but not all of it. Translucent objects leave a shadow like this. You can see that the inside of the shadow is kind of light. Some of the light is passing through, but some of it is being blocked. If I hold the plastic lid up to the light, it will dim the entire surface. If I hold it closer down like this, you can see the sharp outline of a translucent object, while still letting some of the light come through in the middle. The last object we're gonna use are unit cubes. Now you can already tell from the shadow in the background here that this object doesn't let any light pass through. The closer I get to the surface, the darker my shadow gets. But if I put it in front of my light source, it will completely block out all the light. An object that doesn't let any light through like this is called opaque. These objects make very solid shadows like the one you see here. Take a look at our three objects again. We have our opaque unit cubes, our transparent clipboard, and our translucent plastic top. Take a look at the shadows they make. Our transparent clipboard lets the most light through and barely makes any shadow. Our translucent plastic lid makes a little bit of a shadow, but you can still see the light through it. And our opaque unit cubes make a really dark shadow blocking all the light out. As sunlight comes down to earth, sometimes it gets blocked by clouds. The clouds will make shadows like this. Try and guess the objects that made these different shadows. This shadow here was found at a restaurant. It's created by these wooden letters. This shadow is created on a curb near the road. It's a fire hydrant shadow. What about this shadow here? It was made by a little girl. Today, we learn that if light traveling from a light source gets blocked, it creates a shadow. Different objects can create different types of shadows. Transparent means all light passes through. These objects are almost invisible. Translucent means some light can pass through. And opaque means no light can pass through. Opaque objects make really good shadows. That's a lot of cool stuff about shadows. Let's get back to our shadow puppets. See you, pals. See you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.